Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at the Microsoft ribbon inside of Word 2016. The ribbon in Microsoft Word 2016 is this entire area at the top of the program. Wherever you see this, that is your ribbon. And it is the primary tool that we use to be able to access parts of the ribbon and certain commands that allow us the functionality that we need to be able to get the most out of our Word 2016 program. So the entire top of our program is called the ribbon. And the ribbon is broken up into sections called tabs. Each one of these is a tab. Now inside of each tab you have groups. And the commands that the groups offer can be accessed through one of three ways. Either boxes, buttons or menus and for those that are more familiar with the old dialog boxes of previous versions of Windows they can access those dialog boxes just by going to the corner and clicking on this down arrow and that brings up the old dialog boxes that they may be more familiar with you can also double click any of the tabs to hide or show the ribbon this might be important to note in case you need extra workspace with inside of the document. In addition to the default tabs that you see inside of the Microsoft Word ribbon, there are also there are also contextual tabs that will appear when a certain function is enabled. For example, if I was to go to shapes and I was to select a particular shape and I was to draw that shape, notice that my contextuals tabs will now appear. And depending on what type of object that you're working with inside of your Microsoft Word program will determine whether or not you will have additional contextual tabs that will appear. These additional contextual tabs will appear when you're working with charts, pictures, tables, diagrams, or drawings inside of your Microsoft Word 2016 program. The groups that present themselves inside of these contextual tabs will be directly related to the object to which you are working with at that time. To return to the main tab in the ribbon, just click somewhere inside of your document away from the object that you were working with and the contextual tabs will disappear. Now the other item you need to be familiar with inside of this Microsoft Word program is the quick access toolbar and that's located up here. So some of the most common commands are going to be made available to you here such as save, undo, and course redo. Now if you would like to move the quick access bar let's say down here below the ribbon you can also do that. You can click on where it says customize quick access toolbar and you can show below the ribbon like so. If you would like to return to the previous location click where it says show above the ribbon. You can also add additional quick access commands to your quick access toolbar just by pulling this down and here you can see some of the defaults that have already been selected for you. And so that's going to conclude this short tutorial on the Microsoft ribbon up inside of our Microsoft Word 2016 program. So if you have any questions or you have concerns about any of the material that was shown to you in this short video presentation, please do not hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor and I'll see you in my next video.